Scientists are wasting no time pointing out the new and powerful James Webb Space Telescope all over the cosmos and right here on our solar system. Neptune, the eighth planet from the Sun in our solar system, has recently been the subject of data collection by astronomers. On Wednesday, NASA unveiled the agency's first images of this planet. Neptune, the third biggest planet in our solar system, is commonly shown as a brilliant blue, owing to the abundance of gaseous methane. However, the Webb telescope detects infrared light. Therefore, the near-infrared camera images depict a ghostly white planet. This is due to the fact that methane in Neptune's atmosphere is good in absorbing excess reddish and infrared radiation. However, the high-altitude methane ice clouds on Neptune's new view do deflect sunlight before it can be absorbed by the methane. Even by NASA's standards, these objects must be very bright. Neptune's rings, which haven't been seen up close since Voyager 2's 1989 flyby, are also clearly visible in the new picture. Because of their proximity to the planet and the brightness of Neptune, these rings are difficult to view from a distance. Large rings and dust bands were discovered by the Webb telescope. Heidi Hamill, a Neptune system specialist and interdisciplinary scientist for Webb, said it has been three decades since we last saw these faint, dusty rings, and this is the first time we've seen them in the infrared. Seven of Neptune's 14 moons were also photographed by the Webb telescope. Above Neptune, the dazzling diffraction spikes of Triton stand out. The frozen nitrogen ice that covers Triton gives it its distinctive hue. It was also announced this week by NASA that one of the four viewing modes on Webb's mid-infrared MIRI sensor is malfunctioning. The implementation of a mechanism that allows for medium-resolution spectroscopy, one of these modes, has run into some difficulties. NASA has identified the issue and is planning a solution. As of Wednesday, NASA's Webb Telescope program scientist, Eric Smith, indicated that he does not believe this problem would prevent the device from being used in the long run. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.